So here we are, question two of um, June 2008, the mechanics paper. And first thing to start is probably just draw ourselves just up here, just a little sketch about what's going on. So let's assume our particle starts here, which is 10 meters above the ground. Like this, and what's happened is it's projected upwards with initial velocity u, and then as soon as it's projected, the acceleration due to gravity, uh, 9.8, is going to act downwards. So effectively what's going to happen, it's not going to follow this exact path, it's just a rough idea, it's going to fly up, reach a high point, and then it's going to come back down and hit the ground here. So, and it's going to hit the ground with a final velocity v meters per second acting down. Now, if we take, and it doesn't matter which way we do it, as it just affects whether the numbers are plus or minus, so if we take up in our diagrams being positive, we can write out the SUVAT values, and that should help us to see what's going on. So if we write out SUVA. Um, we start off, well, we want to find out, we start at 10 meters off the ground, we want to find out when it actually hits the ground. So we're going to find out when it hits 10 meters below its starting point, and we simulate that by saying minus 10. Up is positive, so we want to find out when it ends up, the displacement of 10 below its starting position. It's projected upwards with the speed of u. Its final velocity, the velocity at which it hits the ground, we're told from the question is 17.5 meters per second down. Acceleration is down due to gravity pulling it towards the centre of the Earth, minus 9.8. And the time, we don't know yet. In fact, that's what we want to find out in the second part of the question. So if we just um, choose, we want to find out the value u, so we want s, u, v, and a. So the equation we want is v squared is u squared plus 2as. So when we start that off, we find out that 306.25 that's minus 17.5 all squared, 306.25 is equal to u squared plus 2 lots of minus 9.8, which is the acceleration due to gravity, multiplied by the displacement, which is minus 10, ending up 10 below. These together are going to make a positive 9.98, double that, and then take that away from 306.25. We can just do a little bit of algebra to find out u squared must be... 110.25, in which case u must be plus or minus 10.5 meters per second. Now, just a quick reference back to our diagram, we wanted u to be positive because it's projected upwards. It's clearly not been projected downwards. It's gone up and then come back down. So the answer of the two answers we want, we want to take the positive 10.5 ms minus 1, and that's our projected upward speed. If we look at part B, we've now got the value in here of 10.5, we us just add it in now. We want to find out the t. Now the easiest equation to use, although we are using a calculated value which we want to avoid, the only other equation is one, not one of the common four that we start with. There is, there is one, but it's just some of the others combined. So we're just going to use, in this case, because we can't help it, we don't mind using a calculated value. We could help it, we'd use one of the other equations. In this case, we can't. So we're going to use v equals u plus 80 minus 17.5 is equal to the initial, which we've just calculated, 10.5 upwards, positive 10.5, remember, plus minus 9.8t. So if we sort all this out, minus 28 is equal to minus 9.8t. That's going to leave us with a positive t when we do the division. So t and if we look at all the digits from our calculator, we get 2.8571428587, and it's going to carry on. So we really want to find out that the three significant figures, common rounding in statistic um, in mechanics, sorry, 2.86 seconds rounded to three significant figures is how long it will take to hit the ground. End of question.